Justice, a local family is suing a funeral home in Belle Glade after they say a photo of their dead daughter was released on social media. The family says an employee at the Stevens Brothers Funeral Home took the photo without permission and posted it online. This is just the latest in a string of complaints surrounding this funeral home. Back in April, it was the center of a state investigation. CBS 12's Lexi Nall has more on this latest bump in the road. Lexi? This is where Jaquiel Allison Jones is laid to rest. She died after a horrific car accident back in January, and her family says burying their daughter was difficult enough. But to make matters worse, they say the funeral home they hired to help with the details violated their trust and their privacy. With an attorney by their side, the family of Jaquiel Jones shared their shocking story. I got a call from a friend saying that my daughter's picture was posted to social media. When I looked at the looked at the photo, I saw that it was taken in the prep room at the funeral home. My baby was partially clothed on a mortuary slab with her hair pulled back. Jones's mother, Dina Washington, says it was an employee for the Stevens Brothers Funeral Home in Belle Glade that took that disturbing photo and shared it on social media. I got the call from my daughter's mother, and I couldn't believe it. I kept asking her, repeat that again, just repeat it again. And I just said, you got to be kidding me. Just, I, I couldn't see who could stand over a dead person's body and take a picture of them to do wrong with it. Not nothing good. You did. You, you took my daughter's picture and you did wrong with it because her body wasn't viewable at all. So what could you have possibly gotten out of doing that to her? She didn't deserve that. Just days earlier, the couple's 27-year-old daughter, Jaquiel, had been hit and killed by a car while crossing the road. The idea that her badly injured body would be exposed to strangers on the web was so upsetting that the families now decided to file a lawsuit against the funeral home. I don't want another family to ever have to experience what we experience. If possible, if I can stop it here. I will let us stop it here. We reached out to the Stevens Brothers Funeral Home several times today asking for a comment, but they refused to provide one. Reporting in Riviera Beach, I'm Lexi Nall, CBS 12 News. Now back in April, the Stevens Brother Funeral Home in Belle Glade was at the center of a state investigation after police say someone found ashes and two crematory tags on the side of the road in West Palm Beach. Investigators say one of those tags belonged to a man who had passed away six years ago in Belle Glade.